Since I'm a very obsessed person, what do we obsessed people do? We wake up and we go. That's not what you wanna do, man. You gotta really decide to like be where your feet are. You gotta really decide to be with that customer. Some of you need to put your phone on do not disturb for a long time. The entire day, man. My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. All right, I wanna teach you the most special skill that you can have as a family leader, as a man, as a woman, as a professional, as a salesperson. The person that can have a routine around staying grateful, they're unstoppable. A lot of us are focusing on what we don't have. Man, my business should be here. Man, my life should be here. Man, my relationship should be here. Man, I should be doing this. Listen, guys, I'm gonna walk you through some things that are gonna have your heart on fire. And if you can go through what I'm gonna show you, it's gonna make you a better leader. It's gonna make you a better human. It's gonna make you love yourself more. Step one of gratitude is shifting that mindset to not what you don't have, but what you do have. I wanna encourage you guys to write this down and actually do it. Before my day starts, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning because I go to the gym at five and it allows me 30 minutes to eat. But before I get out of bed for 10 minutes, I have a meeting with myself and God. And I literally just sit there and I just say, man, no matter what happens today, I wanna tell you that I know everything that you're giving me, I have a chance to, a choice of perspective. I have a choice to see whatever I want. I have a choice to grow. I have a choice. I have a choice. I have a choice. Guys, everything is a choice, is it not? So here's a little tactic. Close your eyes and visualize everything that you currently have. Not that you want, not your dreams, but what you currently have. You gotta be able to be like, man, I may not have everything that I'm looking for, but I got everything that I need. I got this roof over my head, I got electricity, I got running water. Guys, you know how many people just don't even have running water? You know how many people don't have the internet? You guys know? Start your day with total gratitude. Start your day with this feeling in your heart that man, you get the, you get the choice of what everything is. You get the choice of what you see and what you don't. Visualize things, man. Okay, since I'm a very obsessed person, what do we obsessed people do? We wake up and we go. That's not what you wanna do, man. That's not what you wanna do. I wake up now, I have that meeting with myself and Jesus, and I literally sit there and pray, and I literally sit there and I'm thankful. You can do whatever you want. I drink one cup of 24 ounce of water, so that's a lot of water for me, because your brain is hydrated, your body's been fasting while you're sleeping, so that gets me thinking. And then I go out there on my patio, and I just sit there, man. I start to just be like, man, you're doing some really special things. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. Write that down. That right there is powerful to me, man. Because right now you truly have enough. Everything else that you get is a bonus, man. Anybody have somebody who died recently close to them? Anybody give everything to have them back? Anybody get really emotional when you think about that? Can you get emotional about having your life today? Can you get emotional and get in happy mode that you got a chance today, man? That person doesn't get another chance today. But you actually get another chance today, man. You get a chance to just do whatever you want today, man. Just slow down a little bit. Number two, transfer him adversity into fuel, man. Anybody heard of the story of Inky Johnson? He's a football player. He's a top recruit, man. He comes from the city, man. This guy's just fighting hard, man. He's literally gonna be the first person that makes it out in his family. He's the number one cornerback recruit. He's crushing it, he's growing. I mean, everybody wants this guy. And uh, his uh, homecoming football game, he makes a tackle. And he falls over and, and he falls asleep. They rush him to the hospital and he almost dies. And in order to save his life, they had to cut his arm off. He went through this surgery. He woke up with no arm. He can't be a cornerback anymore. And instead of picturing this adversity as a roadblock, I can't go to the NFL anymore. He said, man, this is gonna give me a chance to impact millions. This is gonna give me a chance. How do I look at this roadblock right now? How do you look at a roadblock right now in your life? Maybe you're one of the people who raised their hand and said, I lost somebody recently. What do you look at that like? I get sad thinking about the people that I lost, but you know what? I look at it like, man, I'm gonna act like those people are with me every day and I'm gonna show them the gratitude. I'm gonna show them that I can become somebody. I'm gonna show them that I'm gonna put the work in. I'm gonna show them that I can say grateful. I'm gonna show them that I'm not gonna fall apart. I want you to read this quote. The struggle ends when the gratitude begins. Whatever you're going through, man, you have to understand that it's life. See, I think a lot of you think that you get to a certain level and you stop experiencing torture or you stop experiencing demons. What you do is you just learn to fight them better. You know what the devil's after? You know what the number one thing he's after, right? He wants you to be sad. He wants you to be mad. He wants you to be miserable. He's after your joy. Your joy is your strength. Hey, it's the Macklin Twins. Thanks for watching the video. If you want the free mentality blueprint, it'll teach you how to be strong, bulletproof in your mentality. Go ahead and text 480-780-2203. Again, 480-780-2203. We'll text it right over to you. Let's get back to the video. Text us, let's go. Number three, be present and grateful. You know what a lot of people say? Time is the most important aspect of life. 
I agree, time is very important, but not if you're pre not present, not if you're distracted. I see a lot of people, they're with their families at dinner, but their mind's at business. They're not ever really where they were. You gotta really decide to like be where your feet are. You gotta really decide to be with that customer. Some of you need to put your phone on do not disturb for a long time, the entire day, man. You need to have an unshakable presence as a dad, as a leader, as a person, as a human. When you walk into the room and you're the leader, and it's not because you say you're the leader, it's because they can feel in your core that you believe in you and you're doing the work on you. They can feel this unshakable attitude. They can feel this unshakable presence. And if you can continuously have that, man, it's crazy how fast you'll rise through life. Number four, set fire to your passion. When I'm reading and learning and I'm learning new skills, man, I'm on fire. When I feel like I'm not progressing is when I'm in my head. So you gotta feel like you're on fire. And if, if that's something for you, I want you to set up a habit around that. If you relate to that, I have a habit of reading 10 pages a day. It's not a lot, but it makes me feel like I got a new skill set. I got something new in my arsenal and that I'm moving towards where I want to go, that I'm moving towards my B. Everybody's at an A, they want to get to a B. That's going to help you identify that gap in your skill set, move to your B. Picture yourself looking at your life instead of seeing what's missing, seeing what you have, the talents, the opportunities, the people who support you, the gratitude that fills you, makes you have unstoppable energy. People always ask me, Ian, how do you have this energy? I'm like, man, how do you not? I just feel like I've got like the power of God behind me. I feel like I've got the power of my gratitude behind me. I've been doing gratitude for 10 years, man. I really take joy in the little moments. I really take joy that I get to do this today. I used to drive 100 miles an hour to the dealership, like fast, dude. I'd be on Facebook Live like, guys, I'm driving 100 miles an hour down the freeway because I'm freaking so excited to get to work. And I was always that way. Why? Because I came from a place where, dude, if you could make $100,000, you were rich. I'm making two, three, four hundred thousand dollars and I'm like, oh, Oh my God, man, this is the best opportunity ever. I get to talk to people? You're kidding me. I get to go talk to these people, serve them at a high level, they come in and buy, they go tell their friends, their friends come in and buy. What could be better than that? And then there's the guy that's sitting next to me and he's like, I only make 40,000 a year and this job sucks and everybody treats me miserable, wah, 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 wah. Shut up, dude, you're a victim. I'm a victor, you're a victim. It's a mentality, and it's a mentality. And he's looking around and he's like, he's finding every problem that's wrong versus the opportunity he has. People are gonna die today and you got a job and you're in a business and you can create whatever life you want. You can choose whatever attitude you want and you choose to be a That's kind of crazy to me. So me and my brother have a rule. When we walk into a restaurant, we can't critique them. Cause me and my brother eat together like every day. And we'll walk into Subway and they'll be like, they should do this, they should do this. We don't like this, we don't like this. And we start just tearing it down. And honestly, we can't change that anyways. So you know what we do? We go find the good in people. We go into a restaurant even when they're doing a bad job and we tell them how good of a job they're doing. Why? Because if I give that, it comes back. And that's number five, multiply your gratitude to give back. When I go somewhere, if I give somebody this energy, it always comes back to me. Because immediately when I do that, I can see the look in their eyes that they needed it. And then it comes back to me, and then I go into my sales or in my job or into whatever I'm doing, and I feel great, man. The more you give to anything, the more you receive. Remember guys, on our sales training, we are talking about, we're not in sales, we're in relationship building. Well, if you don't give all you got to these relationships like you were your wife, your kids and everything, how is your company going to grow? How are your sales going to grow? How are your sales people going to grow? How? The ultimate expression of gratitude is giving back. When you serve others, you deepen your sense of appreciation and it creates a ripple effect of positivity in your life. You guys ever seen negative people and you can become that way you know how you don't become that way you walk into the room and you're like hey man you look good today hey what's up man hey good haircut hey what's up hey hey you got five minutes let's go over some stuff about your family hey what's going on with you man hey uh, hey let me invite you somewhere hey come out with me hey let's do something together the more you give to people the more you really truly receive guys I'm thankful for you guys write down three things right now that you're grateful for bring something good into your life today and let's kill it peace out guys